So there's Algiers, and this is where the majority of the supply comes in for the Allies. And you can also bring supply in where that white block is. And I've already gone through the supply phase in this turn and moved one SP by rail. And you can see that uh, red line there, if I just kind of meander along with the secondary dashed line, that's a secondary road. Actually, that's a primary road. And this is one of the main thoroughfares, and there's one of the primary headquarters. And we're going to pop that SP in here. <coughs> the other thing we're doing is bringing uh, supply and reinforcements in this turn. Well, actually, we're just bringing reinforcements in this turn that uh, have become in on the beginning of the scenario and we'll bring in two supply next turn as well there. Down in the south let's have a look at the Kasserine Pass area so this whole area here is the section we're talking about these are the guys that are threatened by any sort of pardon me by any sort of southern uh, flanking forces here this is really uh, three very po reasonably powerful stacks against some overextended forces here uh, that could potentially lead to a dangerous situation for the second army uh, second corps headquarters there for the US so we're gonna have one of the first things we're gonna have to do is work out how we're going to provide some support in that area uh, we'll, and we'll talk about that in another video or we'll just uh, let it evolve as we play it I uh, have a few ideas about that and we've got some forces here in the background that are heading this way, east. And then you've got the general line along here of the enemy and the, uh, the Axis and the Allies forces here, right? And over here you can see it's fairly deep here. There are one, this is this splits, but there's basically two approaches here one approach here, another approach here, which opens out into a dual, a dual passageway. And this is one third movement point here. Uh, these primary roads are for mechanized and trucks, etc. It's one third of a movement point. And there's your ultimate prize of these two, these two location, locations here. Uh, capture of those and holding those uh, will win the game for you at the end of the scenario. There's a uh, automatic victory condition, which I think really only applies to the early campaign. Not particularly useful uh, for this particular scenario. And down here, this is a hodgepodge of forces and units, and it's just a little, a little weak on for both sides. There's a lot of units here, but they're not very strong. Fairly good air force, though. I have got some air units in place. Down in the south, all the way down in the south of the map, we've got the, uh, I forget what the name of the line is called now, it starts with an M, a tray, or something like that, my true, whatever it is. Uh, that's the defensive line. There's hedgehogs, uh, two level hedgehogs underneath most of those units. And there's two lines of those hedgehogs, so there's one here and one here. And this is where the 8th Army will be coming in down this section of the map, where, e, where you see the letter E there. And that'll be all of these forces here. So it's a very, very significant number of units, but they have a very densely packed, uh, well-structured defense at the moment to have to deal with. So uh, what I do want to what I do want to say here also is I think for the German uh, player, for the Axis player, a quick strike here, driving deep up here will do a couple of things. It will force a reaction and pull forces from here down and perhaps soften this up so that we can uh, regain some ground and buy some time to hold off and uh, prevent the capture of these two, two cities. Uh, once this force in the south comes in, then you've got a whole nother kettle of fish and really it's a hang on for as long as you can type of scenario, I think. And I would then reorient some of these forces to reinforce wherever the, either the south or the north flank, depending, depending on, on what's going on. So lots of, lots of things to consider and that's one of the things I like about this game. It's very, uh, interesting to take the time to look at what the opportunities are and assess where forces are and how you might go about doing things and it probably changes as the game goes on but it does certainly keep it interesting from a 
conceptual standpoint anyway, just to look at what you imagine might, the case might be. All right, we'll uh, put those two videos together and we'll look forward to talking to you soon about all this. Bye.